Over the last couple of videos, you've seen me tease this Razer Chroma plus Asus Aura synchronization, and it's all very easy to set up. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to where you can download the app that we're going to be using today to achieve this in the first place. The app is called Aura Connect. And I'd like to give a shout out to Not or 30 over on Twitter for actually recommending me this app in the first place. Because without him, we would have never gotten here in the first place, as I would have never found out about this Aura Connect app. So shout out to you, Not or 30 over on Twitter. Once again, download link in the description down below. And I'm gonna guide you guys how to actually set this up and how you can sync up Asus Aura with Razer Chroma and basically control everything inside of your PC that is connected to Asus Aura. In my case, that is pretty much every single component apart from my graphics card that doesn't have RGB or Asus Aura or Razer Chroma is just a reference RTX 2060. But every single other component inside this PC that has LED lighting on it syncs up with Asus Aura. That includes nine of Lian Li's ARGB Bora digital fans, three on the bottom, three on the side, and three on the top. We have a deep cool Castle 360 EX liquid cooler there that also supports ASUS Aura. There's also 32 gigabytes of Team Group's T-Force Delta RGB RAM that is running at 3200 megahertz, just in case you're curious, uh, Castle Latency 16. But that's the RAM we have inside there and it does support ASUS Aura. And finally, there's also two of Lian Li's Li Streamer Plus cables, the 24 pin and the eight pin. These are addressable RGB power cables that you plug into your motherboard, you plug into your graphics card. By the way, these cables are now finally released and available to purchase. Links to where you can buy them will be down below in the description as well, in case you wanna pick up some RGB cables for your PC. Trust me, you won't regret it. These cables look absolutely sick and offer some very advanced lighting effects as well. But anyway, today's video is all about syncing ASUS Aura with Razer Chroma, and it can all be achieved very easily using one app and everything actually works seamlessly. Once you install the app, you don't have to do any kind of mucking about with settings or anything. It just works. So far, it's been absolutely amazing. Like, brilliant bit of software, works great, and is easy to set up. By the way, if you want to go buy any of the components inside this PC, they'll also be down below in the description, just in case you want to have like a matching RGB build as well. So, first things first, download the app. Once you do that, open it up, man, and it's just going to pop up like this. You're going to press next. Uh, in my case, this already exists, but there you go, the software is reinstalled as before I started recording this video, I actually uninstalled it from my PC, but now it's installed again, just so I can show you like how to set it up if you've like just installed it, you know. So there you go, we've installed it. The next thing to do, now I don't know if this is the actual proper way to set it up or anything, this is just kind of like how I've done it, and it seemed to work absolutely fine for me. Well, actually I think it just did it by itself, uh, <laughs> I think everything just synced up. Um, yep, yes it did. So, I actually had to do nothing there, Th the things just started to work. But if we go into Razer Synapse now, it's literally this simple. Uh, if you go into Studio, you should now see a device called Asus with the Asus Aura RGB logo in the center there. And as you can see, my peripherals, like my mouse, is syncing perfectly to every single component inside that PC, apart from the graphics card, of course. Everything else here is syncing absolutely perfectly with absolutely no delay, accurate colors, like everything actually just works. If for whatever reason you don't see Asus Aura popping up as a device, head over to connect, press on devices, make sure Chroma Connect is indeed enabled, and then make sure that Asus Aura is also enabled. Now, there is a drawback to using this app, and you know, it's not perfect, but it's very close to being perfect. So the only problem I saw with it, and I'm gonna show you exactly what this problem is right now. Now, as you saw there, a spectrum cycle works fine. There's no problems with a spectrum cycle. However, the moment you enable a wave effect, now I'm talking a proper wave effect, you are going to see the LEDs kind of flash instead of like smoothly syncing. Now the wave effect, it works as you can see, but it's obviously not a proper wave effect and just kind of like not what you want really, you know? This is more like a spectrum cycle that's just like laggy and really fast. Now if you want to do a full rainbow wave lighting effect for your peripherals and your PC, I would not recommend Aura Connect. It's laggy and things just don't look like they're supposed to look like. I would probably suggest against using this app if you are going for a full rainbow wave effect. It'll work, but 
things will kind of look laggy, at least from my experience and my configuration. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you use this software. Does it lag for you as well if you set everything to wave? in Razer Synapse 3, but for me, things kind of look a bit laggy and the performance just isn't really there. So if you do want to go for a full rainbow mode, head over to Task Manager, make sure you turn off Aura Connect, head over to ASUS Aura, select Rainbow, and press Apply, and boom, now we have a proper rainbow lighting effect. The fans are syncing up, the cables are syncing up, the RAM, everything, you know, is perfectly in sync, and everything looks a-okay. So if you want to do a rainbow effect, avoid using Aura Connect, else you're going to kind of run into problems. By the way, whenever you restart your PC, Aura Connect will now be a startup application. So after you install it, whenever you restart your PC, this will also now start up and immediately begin syncing everything automatically. You can, of course, always disable the software within Razer Synapse by heading over to Connect, Devices, and just turning off ASUS if you no longer want it to be a part of Razer Synapse. At the moment though, in the studio, I've currently set up a ripple effect that you can now see in action. This ripple effect is, I believe, the RGB version. So if we select every single component right here, yeah, it's currently set to the RGB mode, and we press save, whenever we click with our mouse, this is going to cause a ripple effect throughout our keyboard, our PC, everything, including, of course, everything that's a part of ASUS Aura as well. However, things won't ripple individually, they're going to ripple as basically one component being ASUS Aura, if you get what I mean. There is another effect that you can play around with that is called Ambient Awareness. Now this one's actually really cool, as what it's going to do is grab a bunch of like different colors from what you're seeing on screen, and display those colors on your peripherals, on your PC hardware, on just, you know, all the LEDs it can. It's gonna try reflect what you're seeing on screen on your peripherals instead. Pretty similar to what something like Hue Sync would do, but instead of this controlling LED lights by Philips Hue, it now controls your peripherals and everything else. Although I'm pretty sure you can also sync up Philips Hue with Razer Chroma. So if you have a Philips Hue light strip, you can sync that up and add your Philips Hue lighting to Razer Studio as well and just, you know, go crazy with RGB. I'm playing this random video on YouTube here that basically just cycles through a bunch of colors and you can basically see exactly what I mean. And it's gonna flash and do a bunch of weird stuff, but it'll give you a very good image of what the ambient awareness mode does. So as you can see, based on what's happening on screen, it is reflected in my PC and my peripherals really well. And it's actually quite responsive. As this video uh, slowly ramps up and becomes absolutely crazy, I'm gonna skip ahead to the point where we get to this. And you can really see how it actually works and it's almost crazy how well this all syncs up, as the moment this goes red, so does the PC. So it's actually all pretty damn sick in my opinion, and you can even do, you know, a crazy rainbow mode, and you know, this will happen. By the way, this is also uh, possible, and your peripherals will try to react to, you know, what's happening on screen, but you pretty much get the point with uh, ambient awareness and what that does, and it does actually work really well. Like, if you're watching a movie or something, everything can react to what's happening in the movie. So if there's like a massive explosion, suddenly you're gonna see, you know, everything kind of flash red, orange, white, maybe a mix of like all sorts of colors is gonna be pretty cool. So ambient awareness is definitely one of the cooler ones to try out. Alternatively, you can of course swap it out for anything else like fire. We can pretty much set everything to a fire mode. So a bunch of things will be red. They'll, I guess, turn orange every now and again. And yeah, you can see my peripherals and everything syncing up really well. You can see inside the PC that different parts of the cables are like different brightness and all. And the fire mode effect really actually works quite well, to be honest. You can, of course, set the hot or cold settings to whatever you want. So you could actually have your entire PC uh, jumping around from the color blue and red. And that actually looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Depending on where you place the actual Asus Aura app itself, that's going to determine the actual color, whether or not it's hot or cold. Using the fire effect, anything closer to the bottom will be using the hot setting, and anything closer to the top will be using the cold setting, and that is pretty much what you see being reflected in the PC here. The cable's kind of going a bit mad, and having, you know, multiple colors displayed on them. So yeah, the fire effect is pretty cool, and for the most part looks, you know, smooth, but it's not perfect, you know, as you can see once again, there is still a little bit of lag, a little bit of like flashiness going on. So it's definitely better than the wave effect that just looks completely broken. But, you know, it's not bad nevertheless. 
You can also set up the Chroma Visualizer to work within your PC. You can also set the Chroma Visualizer to a wave effect. But if you have the Chroma Visualizer always on, and let's say you don't actually want it to react to music, you can just set it to wave. And surprisingly enough, everything actually looks mega smooth. Not only for your peripherals, you know, actually being with a wave effect and everything being smooth, but the internals, the RAM is all synced up perfectly as it should be. The cables are actually RGB. So if you want to, you can just have the Chroma Visualizer always on and it'll just work really well. Alternatively, you can turn the brightness down for the background and have the proper visualization going which looks a bit crazy. <laughs> but that pretty much rounds up today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. Link in the description down below to of course, where you can download the Aura Connect software used to synchronize Asus Aura with Razer Chroma. And if you're interested in any of the PC hardware that we have here today, if you want to build a similar rig that also uses Razer Chroma, links to my PC parts will also be down below in the description. Anyway, I'm going to get going. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.